AutoTrack is a feature in Analyzer that allows for completely automated tracking of the face. When you're tracking in Analyzer with training frames, you're teaching the software how the face looks. You're creating a model of that particular actor. What we're doing with AutoTrack is using data we've collected from thousands of images and we've made a universal model of the face. With this universal face model, we can track the movement of pretty much any face in pretty much any camera or lighting condition completely automatically. The caveat is that even though AutoTrack is a powerful feature, it'll never quite get to the levels of accuracy of tracking manually with training frames because we're using a broad general model as opposed to a model created specifically for your actor. We recommend AutoTrack for use with pipelines that need tracking incredibly quickly and for characters that do not necessarily have the focus in shots, like background characters. One thing to note before I begin the demonstration is that whenever AutoTrack is used, it will automatically overwrite any tracking results that have been created for the entire shot previously, either from other AutoTrack attempts or from manual tracking. So that's just something to keep in mind if you already have tracking on your shot, you don't want to use AutoTrack because it will overwrite your results for the whole shot. AutoTrack itself is actually pretty easy to use. We're going to go up to the toolbar here and press the AutoTrack button. That'll pop up this little dialog. The first step is going to be selecting a tracker. By tracker, we mean you're basically selecting the type of camera that you're using for this shot. We have several universal models that we use, but they differentiate between static cameras and head-mounted cameras, so you need to pick the one that's perfect and ideal for the footage you're working with. In our case, you can see back here, this is a static cam, by which we mean a camera that does not move. It's on a tripod, so that's what we'll select, but if we have other footage, We'd select head cam color if we have a head cam shot that is colored, and grayscale, as you might expect, for black and white head cam footage. If you're not sure which camera you're using or if you're getting errors trying to use head cam, you can always just use static cam because it serves as sort of a catch-all and will work with pretty much any footage you put into it. So that's what we'll use. If you have a neutral frame for your actor, this is where you'd select it. You could browse to it. Uh, we're not going to track with one right now, and you can find another video tutorial describing how to create and use neutral frames in Analyzer. For now, this is all we need to do, so I'm just going to hit Auto Track. You can see it takes a second, and a progress bar will appear. It's tracking all of the face groups right now, the mouth, the eyes, and the brows. If you're tracking with jaw and cheeks, those are not supported by Auto Track at this time, so you can only track the main three groups. So once it's finished, this auto track complete dialog pops up and we can take a look at our shot. I'll just play it. This is playing at half speed right now just so we can really look at the results. And you can see that it, landmarks are all sticking pretty well. Um, move it down a little bit. It's capturing all the major movements of the face. It is, however, not quite getting all of the minor movements and the, the real subtleties that I mentioned before. For example, when her mouth is closed and pursed, you can see here, change the color, make it stand out a bit more. You can see here that the landmarks aren't quite touching. Ideally, this frame would be more like that. So real pursed lips, very closed, real subtle eyebrow movements, asymmetry, that sort of thing. That's not really going to get covered all that well by AutoTrack, but for a real broad track of the face, AutoTrack is perfect. So this is suitable to be used in a background character or if you just don't have much time and need to get a tracking result, AutoTrack is perfect. You're still gonna wanna track manually with training frames. If you want the absolute highest quality tracking and subsequently the highest quality of animation, you still want to track with training frames, but AutoTrack serves its purpose for just getting something out fast or for a character that might not need a lot of detail. It's perfect for these scenarios.